Hi everyone, um, good morning or good night if you're watching this at night. Uh, my name is Kelly and I got some really bad news um, about my daughter. She has scoliosis. She is 13 and they've been watching her since the third grade. Uh, and she's been wearing a brace every single night uh, from the time she was in third grade up until just last Wednesday. Um, so it's been getting worse and worse and worse. And, you know, the doctors didn't want to do anything until it's about a 50 degree angle. That's when they decide uh, that it's time for surgery. However, she didn't get to the um, 50 degree angle uh, but she did get to a 45 and she's done growing. Um, so they have decided to go ahead and give her surgery. She has to have surgery. She's going to be um, doing the pre-op uh, Wednesday, which is just, you know, the blood test and whatever else they need to do, more x-rays and all of that. And um, this is her spine. She actually has... Uh, this was, let me see which one. This one was uh, six months ago. And this one was just on Wednesday. So she actually has two curves on her spine. And uh, it's, it's gotten so bad. It went from a, it jumped from a 42 six months ago. My dog keeps moving my arm up. Sorry about that. To a 45 now just in, in that angle right there got worse. And then this went, this one went from a 37 six months ago to a 43 now. And let's see, this one um, was at a 40.98 and uh, now it's at a 41. So everything has gotten significantly worse. So she is due to have surgery um, on the 31st. And uh, so I'm a little bit scared for her. You know, I mean, she is my baby. She's my last baby. I have uh, four kids. Very, um, you know, ironic how I had the, ironic, I don't know if it's the word I'm looking for, but I had my first baby when I was uh, 15. In fact, I had just turned 15. And then two months later, I had my first baby and he was a little boy, a little baby boy. And then in my teenage life, well, you know, got pregnant again and had a little girl 18 months later. And that's my older daughter, Nicole, and she's 34 now and she lives with me. And then I had um, 20 years later, I got pregnant again with uh, my husband now. And we have, um, and then we had a little boy and then again, 18 months later, I had Hannah, my little girl. Um, so she is my baby. Uh, no more babies for me. And uh, she has been fighting scoliosis, like I said, for years. And she's been wearing a brace every single night. And it was told to us, you know, as long as she wears it 12 hours a day, um, she should be fine. And then as the years went by, they kept saying, you know, more and more, she needs to wear a brace more and more. So she was, she didn't go to school with it. And that was something the doctor said was okay. She did not have to go to school with it on. And uh, so she would put it on mostly, you know, in the evening as we're getting ready for bed, um, as she's maybe laying down doing homework or whatever it is. And then all night long, she'd be wearing that hard shell every night. I always felt bad that she had it wear that I, mean, I couldn't imagine even sleeping with that shell that she had to wear since the third grade and uh when we just went last wednesday to her appointment and they said surgery i said what about the brace does she need to wear it anymore and he said no there's nothing more we could do except surgery so we just left that brace behind right there in the room it's goodbye brace i'm so happy and I think she is too. But now we have to fear the surgery. And I, I'm not showing my fear to her at all because that's not fair. I'm trying to stay strong and optimistic and very positive. So she will not 
fear any of it. I'm hoping, of course, she has anxiety as anyone does when uh, they are about to have surgery. So, yeah, it's it's pretty scary. So, to all my religious uh, YouTube followers out there, my YouTube um, viewers, please pray for my daughter. I'm 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 a little bit nervous, and um, you know, I I I try to be religious. I do. I was born and raised Catholic, but. You know, as a teen mom, of course, they didn't exactly accept me in the church at that point anymore. So I stopped really being Catholic, you know, many, many years ago. And uh, I have since tried a few different uh, churches and, stu and stuff, but nothing really stuck with me. So, you know, I'm a believer, but I'm not a practicer, I guess you can say. Does that make any sense? Uh, so anyway, and then my husband's Jewish, so I mean, there's really, we don't really go to church at all, but I don't know. I just, um, don't really know why I'm making this video. Maybe for a little, a little support, maybe for a little of, you know, um, maybe somebody else's daughter went through this and you could tech, you know, make a comment below about, you know, how, oh, sorry, that's stupid. I don't want that to show. Um, you can make a comment down below about how your daughter or your son is after the surgery. Um, I look forward to reading any of those comments about people that may have gone through this. Maybe you have gone through this uh, yourself and have had surgery for scoliosis. Uh, so uh, put your comments below. Um, you know, I, I can't wait to hear positive stories about it. Um, my daughter is looking forward to possibly uh, gaining a few inches. Um, I'm only 4'11", and uh, right now she is 13. They say she is done growing. Her growth plates in her wrist are closed, so they say she's done growing, and she's 4'9". So we're hoping, well, she's hoping that she's going to gain a couple inches once her back is straight, and I'm pretty sure it will be. I mean, there's an awful lot of curvature going on uh, there, so... Yeah, I think that she will gain a few inches. She might even be taller than me when this is all said and done. Anyway, um, thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate it and any prayers. I appreciate those. And I guess that's all I kind of wanted to say in this video. Not to bring you down, it's the Christmas holidays. And I hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas. The surgery is not scheduled until after Christmas. So we'll be able to have... A great Christmas as well um, so I'm happy about that so everyone thank you so much please subscribe to my channel I will be bringing you updates on my daughter also please leave a comment down below and um, give this video a thumbs up if you could thank you very much have a wonderful holiday whatever holiday that you practice and um, I will see you in a later video bye